This is a day in the life of a touring content creator. Today we're in Toulouse, France as part of the While She Sleeps tour. This is James, he's our tour manager slash front of house sound engineer. He's also on YouTube as Rattling Bones Club. The first thing I do when I enter a venue is I set up all of my equipment. This little case I'm currently setting up is my battery charging station. We make sure to take our vitamins and I will begin editing last night's footage. Here I am cutting and aligning clips from the previous night ready to be posted that day on social media. And whilst I'm upstairs editing away, the rest of the crew is on the stage setting up the show ready for that night. Let's head down to the stage and start collecting some content. I'm just grabbing a little bit of B-roll here. Hello. Hello. This is Liam, our guitar tech. What are you doing? I'm I'm just filming me filming things. Right. Yeah. I'm out playing with my mates. Yeah. <laughs> On this tour, a few of the other crew members and myself have been doing something pretty fun, where we've learned a couple of covers, and at some of the shows, we actually end up playing them live. But right here, this is us doing a line check. Basically, we're making sure that all of the inputs work, all of the microphones, instruments, etc. It's one of those days when you don't want to wake up, and I think it's everybody sucks. So it's about 3 p.m. now and we're ready for the band to come down and start sound checking. I was live streaming this sound check for the Sleep Society members, which is While She Sleeps' as Patreon. So right here, I'm just making sure that the stream is all working. And then I'm just gonna grab a few photos and a few clips of the band sound checking. After sound check, we had an hour to spare, so Loz and myself went for a skate at a nearby skate park. It was a bit rough and I've got a lot worse at skateboarding as I've got older, but it was still a lot of fun to get out and get out in the sun for a bit. After some food, the doors had opened to the public and the support band had started. I wanted to see what the room looked like with plenty of people in there and I wanted to make sure that I could get to the vantage points I wanted to get to nice and easily. We also found this sneaky spiral staircase which led to the rafters, so we checked that out to see if there were any cool angles. <laughs> I have actually missed out filming myself setting up ready for the show. It was a little bit hectic just before the show. So I'll just talk you through generally what I do. So I'll throw in my crew t-shirt, put in my in-ear monitors, make sure all of my SD cards are formatted and double check that all my batteries are charged. Then I head down into the main room and start placing cameras. I usually have one on the drums, one at front of house, or if there is a balcony available that I can use, then I'll try and place a camera somewhere around there. I also place a zoom recorder at front of house, which is actually a handy little tip that I've picked up from Ed Mason who looks after architects so cheers for that Ed. Basically it helps with recording room ambience as well as getting a desk audio so when I'm editing raw clips I've got a much cleaner feed of audio. Then I'll make sure that any extra cameras or lenses that I'm wanting to use are in a nice safe easy to get to place on the stage. This means that throughout the show I know where they are and I can just grab and go as and when. Anyway back to it. I usually grab some photos and a bit of footage just before the guys go on and then I will film the walk on. The first three songs usually have local photographers in the photo pit. So I generally use these first three songs to go to places around the venue that are more difficult to get to. It means that there's one less person in the photo pit getting in the way and it's easier for me to get the shots I need in different places. I realized here that I'd left my extendable selfie stick in the office. So I had to run back and find it before I headed to the rafters to get some cool shots. Back to the stage and I'm trying to keep an eye out for anything cool happening and trying to make sure that I get a decent variety of shots. 
I always really like to include crowd shots. I always think it's really nice for fans to see themselves in the videos. And especially with While She Sleeps, their fan base on more of a community or like a family. So I like to try and capture that vibe within my videos. There's certain parts of the set where the band will call for the audience to do something such as holding up your phone lights, which always makes for a really cool shot. So keeping an ear out for these prompts is really important. Otherwise you'll end up missing that shot. I'd realized here that Loz had disappeared off the stage, but luckily I knew exactly where he was going. So I managed to catch up with him. I knew he was going to jump off of the balcony and I wanted to make sure that I captured the scale of the jump. So I realized shooting from directly above wouldn't achieve that. So I quickly ran to the side so I could get that side shot. It's encore time. The band always comes off stage for a minute before they play their final two songs. I like to be there to get extra shots of them in a different scenario like this one where Sav had cut his finger open and I thought it would be a cool shot. Then it's back on stage for two more songs. And then once the show is finished, I'll run around and grab all of my cameras, the zoom recorder and head backstage to pack up my equipment. Once I'm all packed up, all of our cases go back into the bus. Sick. And then it's time for me to set up camp with my laptop on the bus and start editing the photos from that night. Usually I'll head to bed around 3, 4 a.m. once I've finished editing, exporting and uploading the photos. Check out more of my videos here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.